I'm Julie Neal. Welcome to New Orleans and welcome to my house. Come on in. I'd love to show you around. My house was built in 1880 and it has fabulous architectural bones and details. So I decided to paint everything white and let that be the backdrop for how I decorate. And I feel very lucky that I have so many good friends who are contemporary artists. For example, I have this beautiful painted Italian demi loom, which I have a pair of. And over this side, I hung two monoprints by Katie Rafferty, who's a dear friend and I love her work. Over here, I have a pair of oils on paper by Kevin Gillentine, who's also a good friend. And I think that the combination of antique furniture and contemporary art right here is just how I like things to be. One of my favorite pieces of furniture in this room is this wild table that I got at River Spencer. And I love it because it's both ornate and crusty and it's exactly what this room was looking for. Again, I chose to accent it with a piece of contemporary art. And this time it's one done by me. It's one of my white paper collages. And I did white on white to call out to both the medallion on the ceiling and to these beautiful candlesticks by my friend, Lisa Alpaw. The other piece of contemporary art that I have in this room is by Kent Walsh. And I love it because it brings both color and dynamism to the room. Behind my dining room is a little hallway that leads to both my office and to the kitchen. And I love this space because it contains the two original Astrid lanterns that I created, as well as my wonderful collection of artistic treasures. One of my favorite fabrics in all the world is Bunny by Schumacher. So I used it on my window treatments and on my chair's upholstery. And I accented it with a pink velvet trim, also by Schumacher, called Gainsborough. I really wanted this room to feel more like a dining room than a kitchen. So I chose this 18th century printer's table because it had a little dining room look to it. And I love it because it still has the ink stains from its original use. I also chose a Penelope chandelier from my own collection to help it feel, to keep the dining room feel. We also got um, a custom made vent hood that we had plastered and I just love its clean white feel. Another thing in this kitchen that I love is a set of collars that were my mom's in the 1950s. They're made out of pearls and I had them framed in shadow boxes and now they feel more like art than just pearl collars, but they have a lot of meaning to me. And lastly, one really fun part of this kitchen is this cast iron mantelpiece that I found at a salvage shop and had installed over the stripped bricks that are part of a fireplace that was original to the house. And I chose to lighten it up with a set of another set of paper collages that I did and also another wonderful piece of white ceramic by Lisa Alpha. I know we've all been talking about setting up spaces to work from home, but I've always done my design work from home and this is my sacred space. I recently found this wonderful pair of Art Deco chairs and when I was looking for just the right fabric and I found this, I knew I had found perfection. This is called Binary Embroidery and of course it's by Schumacher and I loved it so much that I made my upholsterer put the fabric on before the trim had arrived and it came yesterday. It's also from Schumacher. It's a black grow grain ribbon and it'll be going around the bottom of the chairs, but I think it's gonna be beautiful. Some of my favorite things in this room are my Mallory Page painting, which has subtle hints of pink, and these antique polychrome faux marble lamps that also have a beautiful shade of blush pink, and the pink bindings on these antique books, which hold up a picture of my great-great-grandmother. I feel so lucky to have a second work from home space and it's this room where I make my art. It's white and it's bright and I love it. The whole room started with this beautiful pair of Amanda Talley paintings that I love so much that I decided to spin the whole rest of the room off of them. 
I designed the chandelier that has become the Luna for visual comfort because I wanted something modern, but that related to the old plaster medallion. In this room, I have a lot of plaster pieces. In the corner are plaster lamps that we're working on prototyping and a plaster sculpture by my son, Henry. I also have a white plaster table and some casts of plaster hands on the mantelpiece. I love all the whiteness because it calms my mind and makes me get in the mood to do my art. Thank you so much for visiting my home.